Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you're doing well. Inshallah, welcome back to the channel and to my first day in my live video. This was so highly requested, so I hope you're going to enjoy it, inshallah. So as you can see, I woke up for Fajr. Depending on, I can sometimes go back to sleep like today just because I tend to be a pretty late sleeper so I will go back to sleep for a little bit and then wake up and have some din time whether or not I go back to bed after praying I like to start my day with an Islam related activity it can be reading the Quran it can be watching a khutbah today I did some Quran trace which I feel like is a super mindful and calming activity to do uh, but I always feel the biggest difference when I start my day this way. After around an hour, an hour and a half, I like to have breakfast. Honestly, it kind of depends. Sometimes I will just listen to my body and wait until I'm hungry. I feel like it's also important to be conscious of your body, but breakfast is my favorite meal of the day, so I always get excited about it. I always try to have a savory and anti-inflammatory breakfast so eggs are my go-to i love eggs i never got the egg egg i don't know about you guys <laughs> Whenever I eat, I try to be very mindful, to take time to appreciate the food that I'm eating. And breakfast is also the time that I try to journal. I'm using the eternal one, which I love because it only has one question around Islam to focus on every day. Now it's time to get to work. So Alhamdulillah, I actually work for myself and from home. I split my days between my two activities. The first one being freelancing for brands. I do project management, marketing consulting, content creation, an array of different things, which I love. And then the one that you know me for is being an Islamic lifestyle content creator. This morning I was actually working on the podcast that I'm launching in a few days, inshallah. Honestly, it's been such a wonderful, fulfilling and insightful project to work on. I am so grateful for my guests, but it's also been pretty nerve-wracking. So I really hope you will meet your expectations and that you will enjoy listening to it as much as I enjoyed working on it, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, I was able to have a slow Monday morning. I know I am lucky to be able to do that. That is because I work for myself, which means that I'm more flexible. But what I would suggest if you're trying to reset completely is to start on the weekend, on a Sunday. Um, that way you have time to unwind, but also to get organized for the week or the month ahead. You know that thing when you give good advice to people but you struggle to apply them to yourself that was my case this month um i wouldn't say that i got to a really bad point but i think everything was just very foggy uh, my focus was completely on what was going on in palestine and i haven't really been taking care of myself i actually wanted to share with you a tool that i created for myself but i figured maybe you would like it too um it is a monthly faith goal sheet so it is very easy i will have that up on my website in case you'd like to get it this sheet is very easy to use and i feel like is a good thing to do at the beginning of the month to just have a clear idea of what you want to achieve when it comes to your acts of Ayurveda. So you have five categories. What I would suggest is have at least one per category. That would be five faith goals per month, which I think is is good to be honest like usually I would suggest between three and five goals uh, just so you don't 
over pressure yourself to achieve them all and you know generally speaking um, what matters most to Allah is your intention uh, people focus on the results a lot we focus on the results a lot but what is important is to really focus on your intentions on your efforts and you will be rewarded re regardless of whether or not you reach that goal so I just wanted to share this tool with you in the same document you will get two other sheets the second one is the monthly balance goals one so this is a more general approach of mindfulness and balance um, you have a category that is about your body one about your mind and the last one about your soul and then again you have a little um, part here to write your intentions I feel like this is also a good tool to just see where you want to take yourself uh, holistically speaking then the last sheet that you get is the monthly goal roundup so you have three questions that allow you to evaluate how you did this month so these will be available on my website I feel like they're super easy to use on Honestly, I've just feel like I've really been neglecting myself for the past month um, and yeah I just kind of feel disconnected to everything so inshallah I'm gonna take time to do that but before that I need to film a little TikTok for my French page so yeah let's get started <laughs> One tip that I wanted to give you guys in case you're trying to eat more healthily is to educate yourself on food and search fun and healthy recipes. You can then save them in Pinterest, I personally use Notion, and you should also have a saved grocery list that is categorized that will make your life so much easier. I build my day around Salah as much as possible and I promise you guys it completely changed my life. The more you prioritize your Salah, the more you'll feel that weird feeling in your heart when you're not able to pray on time, subhanAllah. So after getting back home right in time for Mahrib, which was around 5.30, I went back on my laptop and worked a little bit more for around two hours. And then I made dinner, which as you can see was veggie lasagna. And then we just chilled and watched a TV show. But as you can see, I have my laptop because I do not have the right work-life balance. Uh, this is something I'm trying to work on, but this is a realistic day in my life. So I thought I would show you anyways. Then I do my skincare and try to unwind before going to bed. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like to see more of this format. Um, and yeah, take care guys and I'll see you in the next one inshallah.